Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be a Sassy Girl Aroma pre-order haul. This was the Sassy Girl Aroma pre-order from the week of December 3rd. This is the first week in January, so it basically worked out to like about a month of turnaround time, which is typical for Julie's pre-orders. I love Sassy Girl Aroma. I love the wax. I love the way that it smells. I haven't melted a ton of it yet, but from what I've also watched a lot of videos on YouTube, the performance is next to none. It's not next to none as in none. Like, it's by far, like, a really good performance uh, consistently, which I really love. And her pre-order style is awesome. She opens for pre-orders roughly every three weeks and they open on a Friday, and they're typically open for a week. You can order anything you want. Now, I will say, place your order sooner than later within the week, just because she does put a limit on the amount of items that she is able to pour in that month turnaround time to get everything out to everybody within that time. So some things do start to sell out as they go through the week. But... I really haven't had any issues with it. I mean, I typically order on the first day. And I'm excited to post this video because her next pre-order opens on this Friday, January... Today's the 12th? The 14th, I think? I think the 14th. But anyway, I'll put all that stuff down below. Join her Facebook group. She's posting her list tonight, Wednesday. And... <clears throat> need a sip of water. Mm. My COVID cough is still here which stinks but anyway 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 before i get into the haul i want to put a huge disclaimer this is not going to be the prettiest haul that you've seen these are sassy girl aroma brittles they're beautiful they are such works of art julie puts in so much time and hard effort her whole team does to make them look beautiful it's been negative 15 degrees in Wisconsin. It's been cold. It's been freezing. And going from those extreme temperatures in shipment, this happens. And I don't want to say it's Julie's fault because it's not. I don't even want to say it's the post office's fault. It's the weather. And I didn't realize that. I mean, some of these brittles are like shattered at the bottom. And here's my thing. It's disappointing. And I made a post in the Facebook group, and there were some people saying, like, uh, it's no big deal, you just melted, I don't understand what the issue is. It's not an issue, but I do want to say that it is disappointing. I mean, we pay money for the brittles. I mean, this order was over $300, and I love when a truck comes in and interrupts my videos. Anyway, and Julie and her team put so much work into this. They want us to get our brittles the way that we order them. Yes, you break them. Yes, you melt them. And here's what I say. If this is sitting on a shelf in a store, it's buyable. You would not put this on a shelf in the store to purchase. You just, you just wouldn't. Even something like this. Like if this was on a shelf to purchase in a store, it would be in the clearance section. So, and again, like I said... No harm, no, no, um, nothing bad about Sassy Girl Roma. I still continue to order and support her. I love her business model. Julie's such a great person. And I just, it's disappointing when, you know, you get an order that you, you know, paid a lot of money for. Even if you only bought one brittle. Uh, you know, it's just, it's sad. And, you know, presentation is everything. That's a saying that is in food and in life. Presentation is everything. And at the end of the day, like, it is sad. And for storage purposes, this is not easily store storable. Like, all I want to do with this is, like, let it cure and pop it in my warmers and get rid of it. Because it's just, you know, it's not, it's not pretty to look at. And it kind of sucks. But anyway, like I said, I just wanted to put it out there. It's not Julie's fault. It's the cold weather. It stinks. But that's life. I'm just knocking on wood. You heard that. That my next pre-order does not come in the state that this one did. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the haul. As always, I have two little samples. Do you like that catch? Two little samples from 
my order. The first one is in dark amethyst, and these are perfect for like the bathroom, or I have a warmer next to my bed that I just like to pop like a little scent shot in. It's like the little one ounces. And this is nice. It's not my style of scent. It's a very like ambery, like musky, dark floral clean fragrance. It's not my style, but I think it'll be nice in the bathroom. Dark Amethyst. It's definitely a dupe for something. I think it's a Bath and Body Works dupe, but not 100%. And then the next one I love. This is Peppermint Meringue, and such a pretty pink color, and this smells so good. This is like a very marshmallowy, sweet, sweet peppermint. Like those bright peppermint candies that you get. Super, super yummy. I, I really like this one. I hope this is offered in the next pre-order. All right, so before I get into my brittles, or what's left of them, I want to talk about my lows. So I ordered four lows, and I love the Sassy Girl Aroma Lows. I'll pull this one out of the bag for you. So what she does is she takes a bunch of different colored cubes, puts them in a mold, and then pours them over with a white overpour, and they just look so beautiful. And this is in Beloved, Treasured, Everybody Goes Crazy For It, Strawberry Filled Twinkies. And this says, Sweet Strawberry Jam with Twinkies and Vanilla Cream. And this is really nice. I've heard that Julie's Bakery, it really comes alive when you melt it. And I'm sure that's going to be the same for this. It smells so good. It's like a really creamy, rich strawberry. But you do pick up on that yellow cake from the Twinkie. I'm really excited to melt this. And uh, spoiler alert, the next two I'll show you, I actually ordered in perfumes in her last pre-order. So I'm really excited to get those in the mail. But Strawberry Full Twinkies is a winner. Now the next one. This is kind of crazy. My loaf cracked. Boom. If you ever wanted to know what is in the middle of a Sassy Girl Aroma Loaf, it looks like that. Cracked right in the middle. I don't know how that happened in shipment because these are some thick loaves, but now I know she's cracked and she smells amazing. And this is in another one of her beloved scents, I Hop, which is pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, brown sugar, caramel, and coffee. Just think pumpkin pecan waffles on crack. It's like the most dense, rich, gourmet version of pumpkin pecan waffles that you have ever smelled. It is so yummy. You pick up on the coffee, the syrup, the brown sugar, all of those things. It's, it's beautiful. I love that one. The next one that I picked up is in Pink Sleepy Time, and this is Pink Sugar, Lavender, Spearmint, and Chamomile. I hear people talk about this one all the time, and I will say the chamomile, not my favorite scent, and spearmint can lean spearmint gum, but everybody talked about how amazing it is. And for nighttime blend, it's really nice. You pick up on Pink Sugar, 100%, straight up Pink Sugar. And it's almost like the lavender, the spearmint, and the chamomile are like 20% mixed together in their own blend and then blended in a pink sugar base. Because those three, you pick up on the spearmint and the lavender for sure, but they're so expertly blended in this fragrance. It's like instantly soothing. Like I'm smelling it now and I'm like, I want to go to sleep. Like instantly. It smells like I'm like ready for nap because... It smells so calming and relaxing. Mm, the lavender is like a nice herbal lavender. It's really, really yummy. I cannot wait with some cure time to chop this up and put this next to my bed. And then the last one, this bag also, she's, she's seen better days, so I definitely have to rebag this one. But it is in Bake Off. And this is Sugar Cronut Vanilla Bean and zucchini and I mainly ordered this one because of the cronut because if you know I love New York City and the cronut is one of my favorite desserts to eat there and oh my gosh this is so good you pick up on the cronut and to me cronuts are super dense but light they're crisp on the outside gooey in the middle and flaky buttery a little sweet little savory 
and that's captured in this scent. And I think that's because of that zucchini too. It doesn't say zucchini bread, it just says zucchini, but it's, oh, this guy is so yummy. I cannot wait to rebag this, let this cure, and um, melt that one. So four out of four winners for the loaves. Now let's move on to the brittles. The first brittle I already showed you is in open water and this one is raspberry lime salty sea air sweet lavender cotton candy and marshmallow so super tropical with the raspberry and lime i'll pull out a little piece of it i'm not sure i've heard people get really great performance with two cubes of sassy girl i've heard people with three four how many cubes do you use for your sassy girl aroma brittles i'll be curious to know this is really nice i pick up on that every single note raspberry and lime so like a raspberry limeade bright fruity zesty a little bit sweet and sour the cotton candy which i don't always pick up in a note but i pick up on that cotton candy and the marshmallow it's sweet a little bit sugary like um like cavity sugary from the cotton candy and then there's like a cleanness to this which is the salty sea air and then sweet lavender is definitely in the background oh my god these cats but I can smell it all in there really excited to melt this one and even though I feel like this will be a good bathroom scent even though there's like super super fruity and cotton candy I think with the salty sea air and the lavender this will be a really really nice bathroom blend so there's that one I ordered two and they came intact both of them I talked about my last order, raspberry jam filled donut. This is a dupe for the Bath and Body Works scent that came out last Valentine's Day in body care. I love this scent, you guys. It's wild raspberry jam, fluffy donut, and powdered sugar. Oh my god. It smells like the best donut. It's yeasty, it's sugary, it's sweet. It's those donuts that whenever you go to like a gourmet donut shop, and I, you take a bite and like the jelly squirts out because it's so fresh and filled to the brim. Ugh, I, I love this. You can actually smell like the seeds of the raspberry in the scent. It smells just like the Bath and Body Works scent. 100% love, recommend, such a good one. The next one is Blueberry Muffin. I love a good blueberry bakery and I was like, Blueberry Muffin, sounds amazing. Juicy tart blueberries with orange zests, butter cake, vanilla, and almond. So, yeah, there's a lot of, like, different notes in here. To me, it smells just like a blueberry muffin. I kind of get a little bit of that orange zest in there. Almost like it, like it was made in the batter. It's like a freshness. But fresh tart blueberries. Not super, super bakery. But it, it is bakery, but it's not, like, over-the-top, like, cakey bakery. Oh, it's yummy. It's really yummy. Guys, get out of the box. They're in a box. I can't. The next, I also have two of... Where's my other one? All the way on the bottom here. I'll pull that out later. This is cucumbers and cantaloupe. I got this in a sample in a couple pre-orders ago, and I was like, Julie, I need this cucumbers and cantaloupe in, my, in the next pre-order, and she did. The colors cantaloupe orange with the rind and the, uh, amazing. This is sweet, juicy cantaloupe and fresh cucumber. Simple. Cucumber, cantaloupe. Now, when you smell this, you pick up on the melony of the cucumber. I mean, of the, of the cantaloupe, like really, really melony. Smells like a fresh, sliced cucumber. One that's really soft whenever you cut it in the middle, like you took a melon baller. And then that cucumber, that watery, seedy, fresh, herbal cucumber. This, I think, will be my signature bathroom scent throughout the spring. I love this. Fresh, reset, a little bit sweet, just beautiful. Next, I have Pink Stress Relief. Love the colors on this one. This is Cotton Candy, Lemon Drops, Caramel, Raspberry Jam, Musk, Lavender, sage, eucalyptus, and spearmint, fresh ozone, and woods. A lot going on in here, but to me, it just smells like pink sugar. 
and almost like the stress relief candle from Bath and Body Works. Like you can go up to spearmint and pink sugar is what I smell. Just like on cold sniff. Now these are pretty freshly poured, but that's what I get from this. Like pink sugar and eucalyptus spearmint. Super yummy. Also one that'll be a nice bedtime blend. Really like that. Next we have Training My Little Pony. And this one is Avo Bath, which is a dupe for Bath for um, Lush's um, Avo Bath. It's like a lemongrass scent. Noel, Sweet Lavender, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Marshmallow. I was really excited about this one. My friend Emily also ordered this one. To me, it just smells like Avo Bath. And if you remember, Avo Bath from Lush is so strong. And you know how Lush has that scent, like the bath bomb smell, like the baking soda and the, um, and the base, like it smells like a bath bomb base mixed with lemongrass. It's so good. Another really good bathroom one or a really good, like super deep clean your apartment or your home or your house. And whenever you're like done cleaning, you want to put all new wax in the same scent just to like reset and freshen up your house, I feel like that would be a really good one for that. I'm going through my non-broken brittles first. Then we have everything but her kitchen sink. Also getting out of breath. Mm. This COVID is like no joke. I mean, I'm over COVID, but like the, like the chest congestion kills me. This is pink sugar, cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla butter fudge which is so good. It makes everything ooey gooey. And I will say, I smell that over pink sugar. And pink sugar typically is such a strong scent. But no, this is like a really good buttery, fudgy cookie. And that's what I smell the most. And maybe pink sugar will come out more when you melt it. But right now, it smells like a really buttery, like that vanilla butter fudge and the cookies definitely is the first thing that hits your nose. Like a really, really fudgy, buttery cookie. And I'm not complaining. I love, I love buttery, fudgy cookies. So that's a winner. All right. So that's it for the um, bars that made it to me in one piece. Now let's move on to the broken bars. All right. The first brittle, just a little halfy right here. And this one, actually three pieces. One, two, three. Anyway. Return to Oz, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, winner, Salted Caramel, Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, and Zucchini Bread. I mean, how good does that sound? Anything with Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. <sighs> yep, <Yeah>, now, <clears throat> I definitely smell Pumpkin Pecan Waffles first, and Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie. And it's a really, I'll pull out a little piece of that, really, really fruity, fruity blackberry, like blackberry jam butter cookie is something I feel like I am like Switzerland, I'm neutral on. I, I don't love it. It's not my favorite, but I don't hate it. I feel like whenever it's in something, I'm like, okay, cool. But I'm not like, oh my God, that has blackberry jam butter cookie. I need to order it. I did that because this had pumpkin pecan waffles in it. But yeah, it's a good one. I really like it. It's definitely... Like I said, to me, it smells like pumpkin pecan waffles and blackberry jam butter cookies. It's a really yummy scent, so I'm excited to give that one a try. And then we have coffees in the kitchen. Also excited about this one. I'm trying to order all of Julie's coffee scents when they're offered in pre-orders to find out what coffees I love. I will say, like I said, that Starbucks coffee she has, haven't melted it yet. Still not a fan. It's like too black bitter coffee for me. I've smelled it recently too to think maybe it would change. It still smells the same. I'll warm, I'll still warm it to give it a shot, but I'm not sure. I also realized I didn't order absolutely fabulous latte. I'm seeing all these people talk about it. I'm like, how did I not order it? But anyway, this one, fresh brewed coffee, cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla butter fudge. Is, co is cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla butter fudge like a scent for her? Is it in the kitchen, because now that I think about it, all those notes were everything but her kitchen sink, right? So, and then is Smurfs in the kitchen, cookies, birthday cake, Twinkies, and vanilla butter fudge. Like, is that blend her kitchen scent? Let me know down below. Anyway, coffee. Yes, I really like this. 
I think blended with everything else, the coffee's definitely not super, super, like, in the front, but it's there. You definitely can smell it and know it's a coffee blend, which I love. Yeah, I, now the vanilla butter fudge is here. It kind of, okay, this sounds kind of crazy, but do you ever see those things? It was, like, really popular for a while, like, you put butter in, in your coffee. I don't know, I never tried it, but I feel like that's kind of what your coffee would smell like. Because that vanilla butter fudge is so realistic butter that it kind of smells like that to me. It smells like super buttery, rich coffee. I like it, though. Next, we have Monkey Around, and this is Banana Split, Salted Caramel, Creme Brulee, Buttercream Frosting, Birthday, and Pretzel. Yum. I love this. It's like a salted caramel banana. It reminds me a lot of Bananas Foster, the dessert, which, if you know, is my absolute favorite dessert. I have not had it in years. I just need to learn how to make it myself. Oh, God, could you imagine? I don't cook at all. But anyway, this smells so good. I definitely pick up on, like, the banana and the caramel and the custard. It smells like Bananas Foster. So, if this is super strong, I'll know because I want to pop that in my warmers and I'll be ordering more. Next, there's two. I'm actually going to save this one because there's two that are kind of similar. All right, we have Lava Java. And this one is brown sugar, pound cake, and lattes. Also not super strong on the coffee. I find that the latte scent is more creamy coffee, but it's in here. And I pick up on pound cake for sure and brown sugar. I get I get all of that. It's like 30, 30, 33 and 33, like that like percentage. It's like equal everything. Brown sugar, pound cake, and like a creamy coffee. Almost leans towards like a hazelnut coffee. It's yummy. Next, could not go wrong, pumpkin waffles. And this is pumpkin pecan waffles, maple syrup, and brown sugar. It smells just like the candle. You really get that nuttiness. And I feel like <clears throat> when you smell the candle pumpkin pecan waffles, you smell more of that like buttery nuttiness than you do in a lot of blends from vendors. But this smells like the candle, exactly. You get that nuttiness and that like super rich butteriness from the candle. I think I have like five of those candles. I'll never ever get tired of that scent. Let's get glazed. Now this one was kind of, I don't want to say out of my comfort zone, but I see a couple, a lot of scents and I'm like, no, oh, that's basic. Oh, that's basic. This to me sounds like basic. I'm like, did I really order this? Sweet sugary icing poured over a deep fried pastry. Simple, right? Sometimes simple so good. This smells like a Cinnabon Delight from Taco Bell. Like those cinnamon sugar deep fried pastry filled with sweet, sweet icing. Like that icing that you know is so bad for you because it's literally just sugar. Oh, that is so yummy. I cannot wait to melt that. Yum. Here's another cucumbers and cantaloupe. Just the corner of this one broke. Can you see that? Just the corner. All right, these two, I was like looking and I'm like, I ordered these for one, they look very similar. And we'll start with this one. This is Ghost World. And this is Mac Apple, Driftwood, Toasted Marshmallow, Sea Salt Breeze, and S'mores, which <clears throat> isn't that Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds? So Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds mixed with Mac Apple. It's very Mac Apple and salty sea air, I feel. I feel like it's a very aquatic Mac Apple. I don't pick up on s'mores necessarily or toasted marshmallow. Yeah, it smells like a very crisp apple, which I'm not complaining. I really like it. And then this one is She's a Little Mermaid. And this one is Mac Apple, Cotton Candy, Crisp Ozone, Salty Sea Spray, Seaweed, Sun Weather, Driftwood, and Whipped Cream. So quite a lot in here. I pick up on the whipped cream, the mac apple, and the sun weather driftwood. It's a very woody apple. I've smelled this before somewhere, but I cannot put my finger on what it is. 
I really like it. I just can't exactly figure it out. Like a creamy, creamy apple. So this is definitely more creamy apple. Like whipped cream is definitely noticeable. But then, I, I, like I said, I do not know what that, what that like blend is. It's really good though. It's really good. So I cannot wait until these all cure so I can start melting them. See, I gotta like finagle the pieces so they are flat so I can store them. Grime Buster. I also try to order a lot of her laundry scents. I'm trying to get more laundry scents in my arsenal. Island Fresh Gain, Marshmallow, Blueberry, and Sweet Lavender. <sighs> Smells like laundry. Blueberry slightly, but it's a fresh blueberry, so it's not blueberry bakery. Like I feel like 99% of things are. It's like a fresh juicy blueberry mixed with laundry. It's yummy. It's it's not yummy, it's like fresh. But it could be yummy too, right? With a blueberry? Excited to melt this one. This one. In the cellar. This she, she got some damage, but she's okay. This is tart dark cherry, pink pepper, warm musk, and green minty patchouli. I think this is the dupe for Bath and Body Works wine cellar. If you've never smelled wine cellar, you're missing out. I don't love cherry, but this tart dark cherry mixed with everything, it smells like, like the deepest, darkest red wine you've ever had. It's so good. I cannot wait to melt this. I do not have any wine cellar candles in my collection, so melting that will get me super excited for that. And then last but not least, I bake it, you take it. Also, kind of like a basic scent, but always good to have these like blenders in your arsenal. Sugar cookie dough, birthday cake, and zucchini bread. Yum. I definitely pick up on the zucchini bread. Birthday cake, kind of like, you know, that artificial sweet, like, sugary sprinkle scent. And then sugar cookies. Yum. Like a happy scent. Just like a company's coming over, you want to have something warm and bakery, but you don't want anything, like, over the top, but you want it just to smell yummy in your house. I feel like this is one that would be good if you're selling your house to melt. It would get people to buy. I don't know. I really like the way that that one smells, though. I think it's going to be a really good, like I said, blender, or just, like, if I have people coming over and I want the house to just smell really, really welcoming. So, that was my video. I'll definitely link everything down below on joining Julie's Facebook group. Be a part of the fun. I love watching pictures of um, when people have the wax in the melter and it just pulls out so beautifully with all the different colors. And spoiler alert, in one of the weeks about like a featured vendor, Sassy Girl Aroma is definitely going to be in it. I'm going to feature a lot of my broken brittles so I can like use them out of my collection and get to loving all the wax that I have in my collection. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell in the corner so that way you're alerted every time I post a new video. I love you all. Stay safe. You matter. Bye.